Hi guys, welcome to our next episode of Caribbean Cook. And in this episode, we're going to cook some pink salmon, fried dumpling, and some roast potato. You see? Do remember, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit your notification bell to get your videos. You see? Stay iron. And that's three cups of but um of flour, right? Put this over here. We're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder, do remember. This is quarter cup of butter. A tablespoon of salt. And make sure your hand is very clean so you wash your hand. Rub it in though. Alright people, we don't know where they are, right? We are gonna need the flour. See, a lot of people don't know how to demonstrate or tell people how to um, add water to the flour and that's where people go wrong, you understand? So, I already told you guys, this is three cups of flour. I'm going to start off with one cup of water and see where it brings us. Let me ask you, put that over there, sir. And then we'll just use one and then go in it. That's it. That's why it brings us. I just need it. Put it together. Put your strength in it, you know? Alright. I realize that it took it like nothing, right? Right? It took it like nothing. But we're still not gonna put, add the water to it yet. We're gonna make one little dough first. Right over here. Let's make a little one. We don't want it to be too firm. Because it's gonna be fried dumpling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add half cup of water and see what that's gonna do. It's about half cup of water though. Add it to the dry flour. Mix it up. Oh that might do something. Yeah. That's soft and this is firm. So we're just gonna add them together, that's what's gonna happen. Sometimes it's a bit soft, you see it's coming up on my hand. What you can do is just sprinkle. Don't scare to sprinkle a little flour. Remember, it's not like you have cornmeal or something else in it like that. So it won't spoil nothing, no texture or nothing. Just don't put too much because you you're frying dumplings, so you want it to be a little soft as well. You see? Nice texture. Yeah. Rolling in. Trouble. Guys. Here we have the um the sweet potato, it's already roast. I've had it on the um the stove for over like an hour and a half and medium and it's roast. I kept turning it, tur turning it, turning it. So right now, oh you know it roast, you juked it like this, oh it go all the way down firmly, no resistance. This is a firm food, it's a ground food, it's firm like yam, so it will resist the knife. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them over here and just open them, show you guys. You can, after you roast it like that, you can fry it or you can just eat it plain like that because it's sweet. You don't need no salt or nothing. Oh, that's beautiful, gorgeous. All you want to do is peel away the, the blackness away from it and it will be beautiful. It's 
stay tuned, you will see the whole process. Hi guys, here we're gonna season our salmon. So we have one um, half tablespoon of salt. We're gonna have the salt and then we're gonna rub it in. With excessive water, drain that out. Right. Right, and then we have, this is cup noodle, this is one tablespoon. This is Maggie fish season, one tablespoon. We're gonna rub it in. We're gonna fry it, so don't worry. So it will be firm again. We're gonna get them ready to put in the oil. That's it. Don't want them too big because they're gonna swell up anyway. So remember that baking powder. Cheese. So guys, our um, oil is hot and ready. As you can see, a piece of um, garlic is in it and it's burnt. So, we we'll use our spatula and let's take it gently, gently place it in one corner. Yeah. Don't move the fish because it will lose, um, it will start here until it, you know, one, Side is completely fried. So you do not move it to right here. You don't just remain there until one side is fried, until you, and then you ship it because this fish is not so firm. So let that fry. the fire low between three and like low three guys and over here I'm gonna add our um, herbal season to this fire the bowl. We already add scallion, bell pepper, red bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. That's that. That's um. This is fermento seed. This thing is nice. This is delicious. This makes the food delicious. Fermento seed, onion. One onion there. One and a half tomatoes. And we also have ginger in here. So it's 
the salt to tie everything. Black pepper. Not too much. Just wanna make it salty for like five minutes. Last turn this. Oh that's beautiful. So the last time I'm going to turn it after this, I'm going to take them out. Make sure they're on by two. Take their own time and cook. So over here, I'm going to add my lemon butter sauce. This thing is awesome. Right? It is. It gives it a lemony taste. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add it to the herbal seeds. We're creating something different. This was great, now we're creating a spectacle. We have our oven heating up. You guys know what's gonna happen, right? So guys, the, um, the salmon is ready. It's finished. That is what we're talking about. Hi guys, the meal is complete. Come take a look. Raw sweet potato, fried and baked salmon with mixed vegetable, and fried dumpling with cheese inside of it. Thank you guys for watching the next episode of Caribbean Cook. Please remember to drop a like, share, comment subscribe don't forget to hit your bells to get your notification thank you guys have a great day